Hello students, today we are going to learn criteria for similarity of triangles. In 9th standard we learn that congruence criteria of two triangles. So first we discuss that uh, in 9th standard we learn that if two triangles we can say that it is congruent. So by which criteria? So there are different criteria that there. SSS criteria, then SAS criteria, then ESK criteria. AAS criteria and RHS criteria. So different criteria are there to prove that two triangles are congruent. In 10th standard, we are going to learn that similarity criteria. So in that only three criteria are there. AAE criteria means if three angles are equal, then we can say that corresponding three angles are equal. Then we can say that that two triangles are similar. Or another criteria is there. SAS and SSS. Okay. So first we will discuss about angle 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 criteria, similarity criteria. So here first theorem is there that is first you have to prove that if two triangles are equiangular then they are similar. Now first we will discuss about equiangular. Now equiangular means in word that is equiangular. So if three angles are equal, suppose two triangles are there, ABC and DEF and if corresponding angles are equal, means angle A is equal to angle D, angle B is equal to angle E and angle C is equal to angle F, then we can say that these two triangles are equiangular. So, if two triangles are equiangular, we have to show that these two triangles are similar. Now first, there are three cases, okay. So first, here we have to write what is given quantity. So here two triangles are there. So we have to draw a diagram uh, when cases are there. Means case first, different diagram, case two, second diagram is there and case three, another diagram is there. So first, we recall that what is mean by similarity of two triangles. So similarity of two triangles means if two triangles are similar, then basic definition of similarity of two triangles. So two triangles are similar if and only if first one corresponding angles are equal and second one that is corresponding sides are in proportional not equal corresponding sides are in proportional okay so if two triangles are similar if and only if there are two conditions corresponding angles are equal and corresponding sides are in proportion. Okay, so this is difference between main difference is here proportion sides are proportion. If two triangles, we can say that congruent. Congruent means having same shape and same size. Okay, but if we say that two triangles similar, that having same shape but not in same size because we can draw two triangles like this way also. One is big, another one is small. And if all the angles are equal and sides are in proportion, then we can see that these two triangles are similar. This is not congruent, but they are similar. Okay. So now we will prove this criteria, angle 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 criteria. Okay. Now here what is given? Two triangles are equiangular. So angles are equal given, and we have to show that similar. So here angles are equal. We have to show that sides are in proportion. So first we have to write given quantities. Two triangles ABC and DEF such that angle A is equal to angle D, angle B is equal to angle E. And angle C is equal to angle F. We have to show that two 
triangles are similar means we can write in symbol that is triangle APC similar to for similar we have used this symbol so triangle APC is similar to triangle DEF now first we have to write proof here first we have to write here if two triangles are similar if and only if corresponding angles equal and second condition is corresponding sides are in proportion so here equal angles are given we have to show that only sides are in proportion so here first we have to write if two triangles are similar or we can write only two triangles are similar if and only if first one corresponding angles are equal and second corresponding sides are proportional so here we have to write here we have to prove that corresponding sides are in proportional because already angles are given equal so we have to show that only corresponding sides are proportional that is what we have to show AB by DE is equal to BC by EF is equal to AC by DF so in when we write sides are in proportional triangle uh, sides are important means here uh, order is important if we have to write AB then it is D it is proportional with D BC proportional with EF and AC proportional with DF okay now first case is there so if we consider first case case first we have to consider AB is equal to DE so two triangles are there triangle ABC and triangle DEF so in that AB is equal to DE given and all angles are already equal angle A is equal to angle D D is equal to angle E and angle C is equal to angle so here in triangle ABC and DEF now we have to write what are the given quantities here all the angles are equal A is equal to D angle B is equal to angle E and angle C is equal to angle F and AB is equal to consider this case first AB is equal to D so if we take these two triangles AB is equal to D angle A is equal to angle D and angle B is equal to angle E so these two triangles are congruent by AC criteria ok because here this side is included between angle A and angle B here D is in between the angle D and angle E so triangle ABC Congruent to triangle DEF by which criteria here we have to use ASA so by ASA criteria so these two triangles are congruent now if triangles are congruent we can write corresponding sides are in proportion corresponding sides are equal or corresponding parts are equal so here AB is equal to DE we can write BC is equal to EF and AC is equal to DF. Now, if these are equal, AB by DE ratio is equal to 1, BC by EF ratio is equal to 1. Because if we divide both sides by here DE, then we will get AB by DE is equal to 1, BC by EF is equal to 1, 
and AC by DF is equal to 1 means all the ratio equal to 1 means this all the ratios are equal means AB by D is equal to DC by EF is equal to AC by DF ok so here angles are equal we are taking angles are equal and we are showing here sides are in proportion therefore triangle ABC similar to triangle DEF so this is case first now we are considering case second that is AB less than D and case third that is AB greater than D ok ok case second we have taken AB less than D so here AB is less than D so we have to make we have to construct here we have to take point P on DE and point Q on DF such that AB is equal to DP and AC is equal to DQ and after that we have to join this PQ so we, here we have to write this construction take point take a point P and Q on DE and DF such that AB is equal to this AB is equal to DP and AC is equal to DQ ok now we have to consider these two triangles triangle ABC and triangle DPQ so in triangle ABC and triangle DPQ here AB is equal to DP AC is equal to DQ this is by construction AB is equal to DP AC is equal to DQ and angle A is equal to angle D because already it is given these two triangles are equiangular means angle A is equal to angle D angle B is equal to angle E and angle C is equal to angle F so here we have to use angle A is equal to angle D now by using this we can say that triangle ABC congruent to triangle DPQ by which criteria here so by SAS criteria because AB is equal to DP AC is equal to DQ and angle A is equal to angle D so triangle ABC congruent to triangle congruent to triangle DPQ by SS criteria ok now here triangle ABC congruent to triangle DPQ so we can write angle B we can write here angle B is equal to angle DPQ by CPCT ok CPCT means corresponding part of congruent triangles so by CPCT we can write angle B is equal to angle DPQ ok but here we know that angle B is equal to angle E also ok but angle B is equal to angle E because which is given angle B is equal to angle E so we can write here angle E that is angle DEF is equal to angle DPQ so see here angle DPQ is equal to angle DF means these two angles are equal so if these two angles are equal these two angles make pair of corresponding angles and if corresponding angles are equal lines are parallel so here we can say that PQ parallel to EF ok Correspond, since corresponding angles are equal ok so PQ parallel to EF now we can write by DPT DP by DE is equal to DQ by DF DP by DE this is actually corollary of BPT we can write DP by here PQ parallel to EF so in triangle DEF we can write DP by DE is 
इज इक्वल टू डी क्यू बाय डी एफ बट हियर बाय कंस्ट्रक्शन डी पी एंड ए बी इक्वल डी क्यू एंड ए सी इक्वल सो वीव टू रिप्लेस दिस डी पी एंड डी क्यू बाय ए बी एंड ए सी सो ए बी बाय डी ई इज इक्वल टू ए सी बाय डी एफ ओके सो सिमिलरली वी कैन डू दैट This A B by D is equal to B C by E F also. So similarly, we can prove that B C by E F is equal to A B by D. So A B by D is equal to B C by E F. A B by D is equal to A C by D F. So all the three sides are in proportion. So we can write AB by DE is equal to BC by EF is equal to AC by DF. Okay. So if sides are in proportion, two triangles are similar. So we can write triangle ABC similar to triangle DEF. Okay. So after that we will take case three. That is AB greater than D. Okay, next case that is case three. When AB greater than D, so if AB greater than D, we have to use same construction means here we have to take point P on D produced and point Q on DF produced such that this. AB is equal to DP and AC is equal to DQ and after that we have to join this PQ. Okay, so again we have to write same construction. Take a point only instead of taking point E on D uh, P on DP instead of we have to take point P on D produced and point Q on DF produced. So take a point. P and Q on D produced, D and D F produced, and then join P Q. Take a point P and Q on D and D F produced and join P Q. Such that we can write here AB is equal to DP and AC is equal to DQ. Okay. Again, same we have to write. So here, in triangle ABC and triangle DPQ, same proof is there like case second. So in triangle ABC and triangle DPQ, here AB is equal to DP, AC is equal to DQ, and angle A is equal to angle D. Okay. So AB is equal to DP, AC is equal to DQ by construction, and angle A is equal to angle D. That is given. So we can say that triangle ABC congruent to triangle DPQ by again same criteria. SS criteria, okay. So triangle ABC congruent to triangle DPQ. So if triangle ABC congruent to triangle DPQ, corresponding parts are also congruent or equal. So we can write this angle B is equal to angle DPQ. Angle B is equal to angle DPQ by CPC. Okay. So angle B is equal to angle DPQ, but we know that angle B is equal to angle E. This is given. So angle B, but angle B is equal to angle E. This is given. So we can write angle E means angle DEF. So we can write angle DEF is equal to angle DPQ. So again same if. Angle DEF and angle DPQ are equal. These two angles are making a pair of corresponding angles, and if corresponding angles are equal, lines are parallel. So we can write here EF parallel to 
PQ since corresponding angles are equal. Okay. So again we have to use here corollary of BPD. So how we use here corollary of BPD? If EF parallel to PQ, we can write DE by DP is equal to DF by DQ. Okay. So or we can write like this also so DP by DE is equal to DQ by DF. Again, we know that AB is equal to DP, AC is equal to DQ. So we can write AB by DE is equal to AC by DF. Okay. And similarly, we can do that AB by DE is equal to BC by EF. So here we can write similarly. Shortly, we can write LL by. Similarly, we can do that AB by DE is equal to BC by EF. Okay. So all the three ratios are equal. Therefore, we can write AB by DE is equal to AC by DF is equal to BC by EF. So here again, sides are in proportion. Therefore, triangle ABC similar to triangle DEF. So in this theorem, if angles are equal, then we have to show that triangle are similar. That is, we have to show that sides are in proportion. Okay. So if two triangles are equiangular or they having equal corresponding equal angles, then we can write that these two triangles are similar by AA criteria okay now we will take corollary of this means if only two angles are equal then also we can show that that two triangles are similar okay okay now we will take corollary uh, that is AA similarity criteria if two angles are equal only two angles are equal correspond two angles then we can show that these two triangles are similar. So theorem is like this way. If two angles of one triangle are respectively equal to two angles of another triangle, then the two triangles are similar. So it is obvious if we can take angle A is equal to angle B and angle B is equal to angle E, then we can show that angle C and angle F are equal. And after that, these two triangles are similar by AA criteria. So, here we write this in triangle ABC and triangle DF angle A is equal to angle D here I am taking angle A is equal to angle D and angle B is equal to angle E now we can we know that angle sum property of triangle that is angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree and in triangle DEF, angle D plus angle E plus angle F is equal to 180 degree. So we can equate that angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to angle D plus angle E plus angle F. So here angle A and angle D equal, angle B and angle E equal. So if we replace this angle A and angle B by angle D and angle E, then we will get angle D plus angle E plus angle C is equal to angle D plus angle E plus angle F. So this angle D and angle E cancel with this angle D and angle E. So remain only angle C is equal to angle F. So here in triangle ABC and DF all three angles are equal. So angle A is equal to angle D, angle B is equal to angle E and now we prove here angle C is equal to angle F. So we can write triangle ABC similar to triangle DEF by AAA criteria. Okay. So if we have to show that two triangles are similar then there is no need to show that all the three angles are equal. If we show only two, ang two angles are equal, then we can say that these two triangles are similar.
okay okay now we will solve examples on aaa or a similarity criteria so first example is in the given figure if angle a is equal to angle c so this angle a and angle c is 90 given and we have to prove that triangle aob similar to triangle cod so here if we consider these two triangles in triangle aob and triangle cod so in this two triangle angle a is equal to angle c this is equal to 90 degree this is given and we can take these two angles angle cod and angle aob these two are vertically opposite angles so here angle cod is equal to angle aob so this is vertically opposite angles So, we can write these two triangles, triangle AOB and triangle COD, we can write these two triangles are similar by A criteria, okay. Here no need to prove that all the three angles are equal, if we prove only uh, any two angles. So, here we proved here angle A and angle C are equal and angle COD is equal to angle AOB, that is vertically opposite angles are equal. So, we can write here triangle AOB similar to triangle COD by AA criteria okay so here when we write triangle similar so order is import important if angle AOB is there then COD corresponding angles are equal here angle A equal to angle C so we have to write here first A, then here first we have to write C, then O corresponding angle equal to this O and then B and D, okay. So angles, when we write names of triangle, then order is important. So here triangle AOB similar to triangle COD by A criteria, okay. Now we will see next example. Okay, second example is a vertical stick 12 meter long cast a shadow 8 meter long on the ground at the same time a tower casts the shadow 40 meter long on the ground determine the height of the tower okay so first we draw a rough diagram of this vertical stick so suppose this is vertical stick ab is a vertical stick this is 12 meter long on the ground uh, and cast a shadow 8 meter long on the ground so bc is the shadow of this vertical stick and this is 8 meter okay so if we join this we will get triangle abc that is a right angle triangle at b similarly at the same time a tower cast shadow 40 meter long on the ground so suppose this is a tower and it cast shadow 40 meter so this is a, sh a shadow of tower qr and it is 40 meter given and we have to find the height of the tower that is pq we have to find so suppose height of tower if we suppose that h so pq is equal to height of tower if we join this then angle pqr and angle abc both are 90 degrees so we have to first show that these two triangles are similar okay so how we show that here angle abc and angle pqr are equal and we have to show that one more angle is equal so these two angles are equal okay why these two angles are equal because we have to find the height of tower or this stick and tower cast shadow at the same time okay so this is angle of elevation to the sun so suppose here sun is there then angle of elevation at the same time that two angles are equal so angle c and angle are equal because we have to take or here information is given both stick and tower cast shadow at the same time okay so this angle c and angle are equal so we will get these two angles are equal angle b is equal to angle q and angle c is equal to angle r so these two triangles are similar by a criteria and after that we have to take 
sides are proportion okay so first we have to write this here first we have to write information ab is equal to stick okay or height of stick we can write then bc is equal to shadow of stick then pq is equal to height of tower and qr is equal to shadow of tower okay now we have to write here in triangle abc and triangle pqr angle abc is equal to angle pqr is equal to 90 degree okay because both are vertically stand okay vertical stick is given so this angle ab perpendicular to bc similarly tower also perpendicular on the ground so pq perpendicular to qr okay so abc is equal to pqr after that here angle acb is equal to angle prq okay we have to write reason here angle of elevation angle of elevations of sun okay and therefore we can write triangle abc similar to triangle pqr by a criteria okay now here if two triangles are similar we know that basic definition of uh, similarity of triangle if two triangles are similar then corresponding angles are equal and corresponding sides are proportion okay so here we have to write corresponding sides now we want pq so i am writing ab by pq is equal to bc by qr so ab by pq is equal to bc by qr so ab is equal to 12 divided by pq h bc is equal to 8 divided by qr is equal to 40 so if we find this now we find here 12 by h is equal to 8 by 40 that is 8 ones are 8 8 fives are 40 so 12 by h is equal to 1 by 5 so h is equal to 60 meter so height of tower that is pq is equal to 60 meter so here we have to write height of tower is equal to 60 meter okay now we will see next example okay question 3 is triangle abc is right angle triangle so triangle abc is right angle at b bd is perpendicular on ac Prove that BDC similar to ABC. This small triangle BDC and ABC we have to show that similar. Okay. So here in triangle BDC and triangle ABC. Okay. First we will find which angles are equal. So in BDC and ABC angle D and here angle B. Okay. BDC means this small triangle. Triangle BDC and triangle ABC we will draw here separately suppose BDC so, so this is BDC and ABC this is ABC so here this angle B and here angle D okay B and D so here we have to write full name because here angle ABC and here BDC we have to write so angle abc equal to angle bdc okay both 90 degree okay second angle now here in bdc and abc bdc and abc this angle c is common to both triangle okay this angle c is common to both triangle so we can write here so your name is important how we are writing name so angle bcd 
इज इक्वल टू एंगल ए सी बी ओके एंगल सी इज कॉमन ओके सो फर्स्ट एंगल इज दिस टू एंगल्स आर इक्वल दैट इज राइट एंगल एंड सेकेंड एंगल इज एंगल सी इज कॉमन इन बोथ ट्रैंगल एंगल बी डी सी सॉरी ट्रैंग इन ट्रैंगल बी डी सी एंड इन ट्रैंगल ए बी सी इन बोथ ट्रैंगल एंगल सी इज कॉमन ओके सो एंगल सी इज इक्वल सो देर फोर वी कैन राइट ट्रैंगल बी डी सी सॉरी सिमिलर टू ट्रैंगल ए बी सी ओके वी हैव टू क्रॉस चेक अगेन बिकॉज हियर ऑर्डर इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट हियर एंगल सी इक्वल टू एंगल सी एंगल डी एंड एंगल बी आर इक्वल ओके एंगल डी एंड एंगल बी आर इक्वल एंड रिमेनिंग एंगल ओके सो हियर ट्रैंगल बी डी सी एंड ट्रैंगल ए बी सी आर सिमिलर बाय ए ए क्राइटेरिया ओके सो दिस इज द प्रूफ ऑफ दिस वी हैव टू शो दैट ट्रैंगल बी डी सी एंड ट्रैंगल ए बी सी सिमिलर सो हियर वी शो हियर वी शोन दिस ट्रैंगल बी डी सी एंड ट्रैंगल ए बी सी आर सिमिलर बाय ए ए क्राइटेरिया ओके सो वेन यू आर राइटिंग सिमिलर ट्रैंगल्स दिस ऑर्डर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट ओके ट्रैंगल बी डी सी एंड ट्रैंगल ए बी सी आर सिमिलर सो करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स आर इक्वल एंगल डी इज इक्वल टू एंगल बी एंगल सी इज इक्वल टू दिस एंगल सी ओके सो कीप इन माइंड दिस नाउ वी विल टेक नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल ओके नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज इन फिगर एंगल ए बी डी एंगल सी डी बी एंड एंगल पी क्यू बी इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी डिग्री गिवन इफ ए बी इज इक्वल टू एक्स यूनिट्स सी डी इज इक्वल टू वाई यूनिट्स एंड पी क्यू इज इक्वल टू जेड यूनिट्स देन वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट वन अपॉन एक्स प्लस वन अपॉन वाई इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन जेड ओके नाउ हियर वी हैव टू टेक सिमिलर ट्रैंगल्स ओके सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू टेक दिस टू ट्रैंगल्स एंग ट्रैंगल पी क्यू डी दिस ट्रैंगल ट्रैंगल पी क्यू डी एंड ट्रैंगल ए बी डी दिस बिग ट्रैंगल ओके सो इन ट्रैंगल पी क्यू डी पी क्यू डी एंड ट्रैंगल ए बी डी ओके फर्स्ट वी हैव टू सपोज दैट दिस बी क्यू इज सपोज दिस बी क्यू इज ए यूनिट्स एंड क्यू डी इज बी यूनिट्स ओके सो टोटल बी डी इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी यूनिट्स ओके इन ट्रैंगल पी क्यू डी नाउ वी हैव टू कंसिडर दिस टू ट्रैंगल्स ट्रैंगल पी क्यू डी एंड ट्रैंगल ए बी डी सो इन दि इन दिस टू ट्रैंगल दिस एंगल क्यू इज इक्वल टू एंगल बी बिकॉज बोथ आर राइट एंगल एंड दिस एंगल डी इज कॉमन फॉर बोथ ट्रैंगल ट्रैंगल पी क्यू डी इन दैट एंगल डी ऑल्सो एंड हियर इन ट्रैंगल ए बी डी इन दैट डी इज कॉमन फॉर बोथ ट्रैंगल्स सो हियर वी कैन शो दैट दिस टू ट्रैंगल्स आर सिमिलर बाय ए क्राइटेरिया ओके सो वी हैव टू राइट एंगल्स एंगल पी क्यू डी इज इक्वल टू एंगल ए बी डी इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी डिग्री आफ्टर दैट एंगल पी डी क्यू इज इक्वल टू एंगल ए डी बी ओके हियर एंगल डी इज कॉमन सो दिस टू ट्रैंगल्स ट्रैंगल पी क्यू डी सिमिलर टू ट्रैंगल ए बी डी बाय ए क्राइटेरिया सो इफ दिस टू ट्रैंगल्स आर सिमिलर वी कैन राइट साइड्स आर इन प्रपोर्शन ओके सो हियर आई एम टेकिंग साइड्स पी क्यू बाय ए बी ओके If we write names are correct, then we can take sides from this directly. PQ by AB, so PQ by AB is equal to QD by BD. Okay. So if we put values of this, now PQ is here Z. So Z divided by AB is X. So Z by X is equal to QD. Now here we suppose this QD is equal to B. so b divided by bd that is a plus b okay so from that if we take if we find value of b so value of b is z into a plus b this a plus b we have to shift here upon x is equal to b 
so this is value of b similarly we have to take triangles from this side triangle bqp and triangle bdc okay now we have to take triangle so in triangle bqp and triangle bdc okay similarly we can show that these two triangles are similar here angle bqp p and angle bdc are 90 degree and angle b is common so we can write here angle bqp is equal to angle bdc both 90 degree and angle b is common that is angle p b q p b q is equal to angle c b d angle b common okay or we can write common angle so triangle b q p similar to triangle b d c by a criteria okay so if triangle similar again we have to write sides are in proportion so we have to write here bq divided by bd is equal to qp or pq qp divided by dc okay so if we put values bq that is a divided by bd that is a plus b is equal to qp qp is z and divided by dc is y so again by using this if we find value of a so a is equal to z into a plus b divided by y so this is value of a okay now if we write this if we have to find value of a plus b by using this so a plus b how we write a plus b is equal to value of a from 1 and 2 here we have to give number 1 and 2 so from 1 and 2 here we give number 1 and this is 2 so from 1 and 2 value of a we can write z into a plus b upon y and from this value of b is z into a plus b upon x okay now from this we can take a plus b common so a plus b if we take common what is remain z upon y plus z upon x and here a plus b so this a plus b and this a plus b will get cancel so what is remain 1 is equal to z upon y plus z upon x after that if we divided by z to each term we will get 1 upon z is equal to 1 upon y plus 1 upon x okay so this is the proof so we have to use here first angle angle criteria and then we have to write corresponding sides okay so this one is important example for exam okay now we will take next example okay next example is in figure angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 3 is equal to angle 4 given we have to show that pt into qr is equal to pr into st okay now here we have to consider these two triangles triangle pst and triangle pqr okay so in triangle pst and triangle pqr okay here what is given angle 1 and angle 2 are given but if we consider this triangle triangle pst we want this whole angle p that is angle spt so for that if we take angle 1 and angle 2 are equal this angle if we add both side we will get triangle angle spt and angle qpr both are equal and angle 3 and angle 4 equal given so we can show that this two triangles similar by a criteria okay so first we have to write angle 1 is equal to angle 2 this is given okay don't write directly angle 1 and angle 2 equal angle 3 and angle 4 are equal therefore 
these two triangles are similar okay because here angle 1 and angle 2 are not part of these two triangles angle 1 this means here if we consider triangle pst so spt this angle is this angle 1 plus qpt uh, angle so don't try directly 1 is equal to 2 3 is equal to 4 therefore these two triangles are similar okay so here first we have to write angle 1 and angle 2 are equal that is given we have to add angle qpt both side so angle 1 plus angle qpt angle 2 plus angle qpt okay so angle 1 plus angle qpt we will get angle spt so angle spt is equal to angle 2 plus qpt angle means this angle we will get angle qpr so angle qpr so now we will get angle spt and angle qpr equal and angle 3 is equal to angle 4 angle 4 given angle 3 is equal to angle 4 given so now we can write by using this two spt is equal to qpr and angle 3 is equal to angle 4 so we can write here triangle pst similar to triangle P pqr okay by a criteria because here spt is part of psc triangle qpr is a part of pqr triangle angle 1 and angle 2 are not part of these two triangles so don't write directly so here from these two we can write these two triangles are similar by a criteria now these two triangles are similar by a criteria so we can write corresponding sides that are proportional so here we want st qr pt and pr so if we write corresponding sides here i am writing all these three sides are proportional ps by pq st by qr and pt by pr okay but here we want only this st pr and qr and pt okay so i am considering this ratio only so therefore st by qr is equal to pt by pr if we cross multiply this we will get pr into st is equal to pt into qr okay so this is the proof so here we have to first show that these two triangles are similar by a criteria okay and then write corresponding sides okay